so today I'm going to show you guys how I bronze, contour, apply my blush, and apply highlighter. Um, I'm going to share with you guys the products that I use, how I apply it, and kind of give you a demo. Um, I think it's really important to um, bronze and uh, apply blush and highlighter. Um, I think it really defines your face, makes your makeup just look ten times better. Um, I don't bronze, blush, and highlight every single day if I want a more natural look, but... Um, this is what I do if I do all three of them and or if I just do one or the other like this is what I do for each of them so I will show you and just get started into the video first thing that I do I bronze and I contour then I apply my blush then I apply highlight that's kind of the order that I do it um, I find it easiest because you're kind of starting from like bronzing kind of your face and then you can go into blush and then highlights like at the top of your cheekbones so the bronzer that I use is by Wet n Wild. It's a Capricorn bronzer with SPF 15, which is really nice. And it is, um, I don't know if there's a color. So, uh, Ticket to Brazil. Yeah, it's like a huge one. And it has like a sun in it. And I really like it because it has just like the tad bit of sparkle, but like not a lot to make you kind of like not to show your imperfections and stuff. And to bronze, I like to use a really, really big fluffy brush. I got this in a set of brushes that I got. I'm not sure what brand they are though, but yeah. So I just take some, tap a little bit off, and I start kind of near the hollows of my cheeks and just start blending there. Get a little more and then start blending down my jawline. Get it more and do the other cheekbone. Really just kind of focusing on the hollows of my cheeks and blending upwards. And then I just kind of blend up onto my uh, forehead, kind of on the temples of my forehead. And then just kind of lightly dust this kind of on the sides of my nose. And that really just warms up my face, gives me a nice glow. And I just really like that, so I do that pretty lightly. Um, and then when I want a little bit more of a definition, I like to use my NYC Smooth Skin. Or, no, that is not what it's called. NYC Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. And this is an Oliver Bronze Glow. Um, I use a more precise brush. This is an angled, smaller brush. And I take a little bit of this, top of the axis, and really just focuses on the hollows of my cheeks. So I kind of like pinch it a little bit to make it a little more defined. Suck in my cheeks and just apply that where it's needed and then blend it. And then just kind of blend that um, also as I did with my bronzer. Um, I'm going to really contour my nose and then kind of blend that out and then just go over my temples a little bit more. So that's if I want really to contour and to really define my face. Then the next thing that I'll do is apply blush. Um, I kind of do or switch between blushes depending on my look, but just for this video, I chose this blush. It's one of my favorites, and I go to it all the time. It's a NYX blush in the color Rose Garden. It's just like a really hot pink, shimmery uh, blush, and I love it so much. So what I use with this is just like a fluffy. Um, it's kind of a dense brush and it's by Lilique and it's a blusher brush so just take a little bit of that. When you have like a really hot pig, um, pigmented blush you really want to be careful with it and just kind of apply it in layers because you don't want to apply too much and then not have to take it off. So I apply this uh, focusing on the apples of my cheeks and then I blend upward kind of above the bronzer. And then I take a little more. If you know where the apples of your cheeks are, you don't have to smile, but just for, like, beginners, if you don't know where to apply it, all you have to do is, like, smile. It's, like, right there. So. And then, again, to the other cheek. I'm just kind of blending this in circles and blending it toward um, the back of my hairline. And then I just like to apply a little on my nose just to give a little color. And that's that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Hopefully my camera is picking all this up. And then lastly, if I want to highlight, my favorite highlighter that I go to is my MAC uh, Minimize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It's really, really pretty. And depending on if I want a light or dark, oh, I'm sorry, a light um, highlight or like a more dramatic highlight, depends what brush I use. If I want to do just like a very light highlight, I'll use my fan brush. And it just looks like this. It's a pretty dense fan brush. 
And then if I want a more defined highlight that you can really, really see, I use this foundation brush from Lancome because it picks up more product and it's easier. So I'm actually going to use this one so that you guys can see it for the sake of the video. So what I do is just go into there and I focus this on the tops of my cheekbones first. And kind of blend that up and kind of blend that into the blush almost. This really gives you a nice dewy look and I really love highlight. And then I like to apply this down my nose and kind of a little bit on my forehead, like right between my eyebrows on my forehead. And then on my cupid's bow. And um, when you apply it on your cupid's bow, it just makes your lips look fuller and it looks really nice with lipstick. So that is pretty much all I do with the highlight, blush, bronzer, and contour if I do all of that. Um, it really completes like, like your face look and just makes your face look completely different. Not in a bad way, but like just really defines your face and gives it some color and some life. So... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I forgot to mention before I applied all this, all I had on was foundation, uh, concealer, and bronzer. I'm sorry, foundation, concealer, and powder. Um, so, um, I will do an updated foundation routine. I do have, I use completely different products now from my last one, so I will do an updated one very soon. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, or if you have any other comments, just leave a comment down below, and leave any requests down below as well, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.